Hi there Pimble fans, welcome back to the Majestic Pimble Restorations YouTube channel. Today we have a Gottlieb Genesis which was released in 1986 and it was designed by John Trudeau um, who designed so many amazing machines for Gottlieb. Anyone who knows me knows I absolutely love Gottlieb machines so I'm really excited to bring this one to you. This is an ATB machine. A lot of people think they're some of the worst Gottliebs around. Um, I think they're all stunning, I think they're amazing. We love those here at Majestic Pimble. Let's get on to how to play Gottlieb's Genesis. Now, Genesis is quite a simple machine to get your head around, but it's so tricky. Um, the main idea of the machine is to reveal the robot which you're building in the centre of the playfield here. When you, once you reveal it, this all lights up and it kind of spins around and you see this um, <laughs> really tacky robot. So that's the whole idea of the game. The way you do that is by collecting body parts. Um, so as you can see on the back of the playfield, you have arms, brain, body and legs. Completing all of those would light the robot up for the reveal. So you get letters for brain by shooting either the uh, left left lane or the right lane. These will alternate, so uh, I think it's on slingshot hits. Those shots will alternate depending on whatever's lit. You collect arms, uh, letters in arms by going up the left hand ramp. Now body's the trickiest one to get because you have to roll through all of the top lanes. This game does have lane change, so if you bang on the flipper buttons you can swap the uh, lit lanes over, um, but you want to spell A, B and C, go through all of those lanes, will give you a part in body. And lastly, you can get a part in legs by going up the right hand ramp. You have these drop targets in the centre of the playfield, um, you have to spell those in order, so you get one, two and three. Shooting those in order will give you one letter in every single body part. Same with the very target up in the top, you can't really see it too well, it's underneath this ramp. Coming down the in lane will light the uh, very target for spot letter, just pound the ball up there and it'll give you a letter in a random body part. Once you've collected a part, so you've got all the letters in one part, that then goes out on the back of the playfield and you light up the body part underneath the playfield here in this uh, plastic bit. I don't know if you can see that on camera. So once you've got all of the body parts, you've collected all of them, everything's lit through the window in the playfield, you'll be treated to a crazy flashing show. It's so bright it hurts your retinas. Uh, you then just need to hit the life force generator, which is the very target in the back. Shooting that all the way back as far as it will go will reveal the robot. Now, uh, it doesn't hold the ball while this happens. The ball will come straight back at you. So the best thing to do is just try and catch it. Just hold on the flippers up and catch the ball um, because all the lights go out. This is really bright. It's really intense. It's really flashy and you can't see what the hell you're doing. So the best thing to do is just try and catch the ball as quick as you can while the robot is doing its little reveal. So once you complete a body part, you will light multi-ball at one of the ramps. It will randomly start to flash one of the ramps. Banging the ball up the flashing ramp will give you uh, multi-ball. It's a two-ball multi-ball. Now during multi-ball, you get a multi-multiplier. So for every body part you complete, the playfield goes up a multiplier. So let's say you've completed three body parts, you'll be on times four multiplier. Going into multi-ball will give you times eight multiplier for the playfield. Um, so that can be pretty lucrative um, if you've completed a lot of body parts. And finally we have the extra ball, which can be a little bit confusing to some people. The way Gottlieb did this was a little bit weird, but completing three body parts lights um, next part awards extra ball. Completing your fourth body part gives you the extra ball and it will like shoot again. So a lot of people see that this lit and it just says extra ball and they'll drain and they'll be like, I didn't get my extra ball. But that's a little bit of a weird way to do it, but that's just to let you know that the next part you complete will give you another ball. So anyway, I think that's about everything for now. Let's give it a go and see what we can do.
Okay, so we just complete the body. The left hand ramp is now left for multiple, and so is the right now because we've just completed brain. Now you treat it to this beautiful Jacob's Ladder effect uh, on the ramps. I love that. So, because we've got two body parts, the multiple power to three, uh, multiple now puts the multiple power to six. And we just completed legs. So the multiplier is now up to four. It just happened to like that ramp for multiple at the time we collected the legs. So we're now back into multiple and the multiplier is now at eight. Always incredibly short multiples on this machine. So now I've just completed the legs, uh, the arms, sorry, and the robot is ready. So we've got the robot ready to collect at the very target, and we've got the model ready to cash in on the right ramp. So now we're multiple multipliers up at 10 times, this would be a great time to cash in the robot. Ah. Just as we drained, we've got the robot. Now, isn't that something? Just type in my initials. Actually, got a high score on that game. And you're treated to a beautiful little 80s jingle um, <laughs> at the end of the game. So let me just shut up so you can listen to that. <laughs> 